question. Are you truly doing whatever it takes to reach your goals? Now, I'm gonna talk about bodybuilding, but this goes for anything in life. Are you truly doing whatever it takes? Now, whatever it takes, obviously everyone has a different version of what that entails. Now, as far as bodybuilding goes, whatever it takes, I would say, are you eating eight to 10 meals a day? Are you? The answer probably to 90% of the people out there is no, I'm not eating that much, okay? Are you training twice a day? Are you working out three to four hours a day? 90% of the people out there are gonna say no, I'm not working out that much. Are you doing cardio? No, I don't have time to do cardio. 90% of the people will say. Now, whatever it takes, when you look and you see the guys on the Olympia stage, it's very easy to say, oh, they're taking steroids. They're taking more drugs than me. That's why they're up on the Olympia. No, motherfucker, they're working harder. Give people credit where credit is due. They are working harder than you. They have been doing it longer than you. They are willing to do whatever it takes. Now, yes, they take steroids, of course they do. But give credit where credit is due. These guys are training like maniacs. They're eating like maniacs. They're on the step mill for an hour a day, some of them two hours a day. Have you ever ridden the step mill? Get on that motherfucker and ride it for an hour straight and you'll see what I'm talking about. It kicks your fucking ass. Eating eight to 10 times a day is hard. And of course, we can always, oh, I don't have time to eat that much. You know, I, I work and this and then, well then you're not doing whatever it takes. And you know, it's just, if you, if you have a goal in mind and you want to achieve that goal, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. And if you're not, you're never going to reach that goal. You're gonna be the guy sitting on the couch saying, oh, they're taking steroids, that's why. They're taking more steroids than me. The only reason they're better than me is because they're taking more steroids. And that makes you feel better. You feel okay about yourself now because you're saying to yourself that you work just as hard as them. They're only better because they're taking drugs or they're taking more drugs. Guess what? Wrong! Wrong! They're working harder. Admit that shit. Admit that you're not willing to do whatever it takes. You're not willing to do that. You're not gonna work out for three or four hours. You're not gonna eat eight to 10 meals a day. You're not gonna get on the step mill, even in the off season, and fucking get on there and fucking go to work for an hour. Now, oh yeah, but the step mill, you know, when you do cardio in the off season, it burns, no, it doesn't burn muscle. That's an excuse so your lazy ass doesn't have to fucking do the step mill. You know what I'm saying? Man up. If you're not willing to do what it takes, at least be willing to fucking admit it. Drives me fucking crazy when people take credit away from people that are truly working their asses off. So, do whatever it takes. Reach your goals. Make your dreams come true in whatever it is in life. And you can always do more. And the biggest fucking fallacy of bodybuilding is this whole thing of you can do too much. Well, if you work out too much, you're overtraining. Oh, if you eat enough bullshit. That's for lazy fucking people to say that shit. Oh, it's, I've been training an hour. I better not train any longer because I'm gonna be overtraining and I'm gonna fucking tear my muscles down. So you leave the gym. No, you fucking work out for three or four hours. The more you put into anything, the more you get out. And this is supposed to be motivational. I'm not talking shit to people out there. I'm motivating and I'm waking people up to understand that you need to do whatever it takes. If you're working on opening a business, you need to be working on that shit 16 hours a day. You wanna make that shit successful? Then you need to be busting your ass, doing whatever it takes, putting everything into it. Otherwise, your business will fail. 80% of businesses fail. Why? Because people aren't willing to do whatever it takes. If you're willing to do whatever it takes, you will be successful. When it comes to bodybuilding, train three or four hours a day. Do the step mill a fucking hour in the off season. If you're eating fucking eight or 9,000 calories, you're not gonna burn any muscle. You're turning your body into a fucking machine. Your body is a fucking machine. You're digesting food faster. Your body's fucking growing faster. That's what it is, doing whatever it takes. 
So if you don't fool yourself and think eating 3,000 calories a day, five meals a day, working out an hour a day means that you're a hardcore bodybuilder and you're doing whatever it takes to achieve your goals. When you get that fucking fifth place trophy or you don't make top five, fucking face reality and realize you're not working hard enough to fucking get that first place trophy. A real quick story. The last national show I competed in, I was talking to the winner backstage and Chris Aceto was doing his fucking diet and his training program, okay? And he said, Rich, I do the step mill an hour a day. I do five units of insulin before I get on the step mill on an empty stomach and I do it for an hour, okay? I do that twice a day. You know what I said to him? I said, you know what? This was at, this was, this was before prejudging. I said, you know what? I said, you deserve to win this show. Whether you win or lose, you deserve to win it because what you put into this fucking show is unbelievable. Because I wasn't doing fucking two hours of the fucking step mill a day and I wasn't fucking taking insulin before I did the step mill. That's fucking suicide. Fucking die. You're dropping your blood sugar and doing fucking cardio? What the fuck? I was not willing to do whatever it takes when it gets to that degree in this sport. So I looked at him and I said, you know what? You deserve to fucking win. And that's when I made my exit the fuck out of bodybuilding because I realized I'm not willing to do this shit. It's fucking, I'm sorry, but that's too much. So I'm gonna go into something like fucking opening a business, fucking buying things that I can put everything into. And you know what? I'm fucking damn happy I made that decision because I'm making lots of money and I'm successful and I'm fucking happy.